mini calzones, anti-fast food, Ovaltine milkshakes, puffy cheesy bread, and action-packed hot dogs? Sign us up. Did you know there's actually a lot of Latin American fast food chains that haven't graced your palate? Stay tuned to find out which of these fast food chains to keep an eye out for. Just so everyone is clear, Bob's Burgers in Brazil predates the show Bob's Burgers by about 60 years. While lacking in kitschy names for specials, the burgers here have withstood the test of time. Bob's features simple burgers with Big Bob sauce and specializes in Ovaltine milkshakes. That's not entirely surprising as Ovaltine, yes, the powdered malt mix, is a standard household item in many kitchens in Argentina and Brazil. Bob's has also been on the cutting edge of creative and unusual marketing gimmicks when they launched edible packaging for their burgers. More than curbing environmental waste, Bob's pivoted the move to advertise to hungry consumers, too ravenous to waste time unwrapping their meals. Honestly, we've all been there. A clever new slogan encouraged diners to eat the wrapper itself. And if there's anything America really needs, it's ways to be more environmentally friendly. Whether washing down wrappers with Ovaltine can become a hit in the U.S., we're not sure. But we're ready to give it the old Belcher family try. They'll try the samples, and they'll love them. But they'll want more. More! They'll be craving these burgers, itching to get their fix! Hamburguesas El Corral specifically refers to itself as anti-fast food, and that title may very well be deserved. The restaurant tops Colombia's charts as the biggest burger chain. However, while this affordable, counter-service stop checks all the boxes of what you would expect fast food to look like, it's everything and more outside of being fast. The restaurant features a wide variety of burgers with endless toppings and styles. Burger portions are huge, with big meaty slabs competing in thickness to surrounding buns. As if that's not enough, the restaurant also serves specialty hot dogs called cowboys, as well as fries, salads, and standard American fare. While El Corral may be American fare, the restaurant did not fare well in Miami. Whether the popular chain will give a new stateside location a shot, it's unclear. Still, with North America's seemingly never-ending demand for Kraft Burgers, El Corral may find a welcoming home with a few tweaks to its game plan. Much like the States, many of Latin America's fast food franchises don't solely specialize in traditional cuisine. In other words, many Latin American countries have found local acceptance in international flavors served fast. Mini Calzone in Brazil has had just this sort of success by introducing fast Italian, mainly in the form of cheese and meat-filled pockets. With almost 20 different kinds of calzones, from premium varieties to their popular maxi beef pocket, Mini Calzone keeps the variety baked in. Similar to Taco Bell's Nacho Cheese Locos Tacos made with Doritos-flavored shells, Mini Calzone likes to mix traditional style with recognizable brand favorites. On the dessert side of the menu, you'll find a calzone mixed with the popular dessert spread, Nutella. Without sticking to standard fillings, favored in Italy, Mini Calzone does its own thing. And that's okay, too. Takeaway. These aren't your ordinary calzones. Just a stunning culinary innovation. It was a calzone. It was literally just a small calzone. Bembos is a Peruvian burger joint that features a whole lot of flair. From their eccentrically decorated restaurants to their creative burgers, you know when you're in a Bembos. With more than 55 stores in the country, Bembos was one of the first restaurants to introduce Peruvians to hamburgers and fries. That means only one thing. They've had the chance to perfect them. In this way, the company was able to make their menu all their own, creating new burger combinations and interesting offerings by incorporating traditional ingredients and spices. Toppings include string potatoes, chimichurri mayo sauce, and Bembos' own chili sauce, to name a few. Bembos also offers Peru's own Inca Cola, which is a sweet fruity drink also known as the Golden Cola. Lastly, for dessert, Bembos also features another local favorite, condensed milk ice cream with toppings. An entire meal at Bembos can be a unique and flavorful partnership of Peruvian and American foodie favorites, the best of all worlds. If North America is missing out on rotisserie chicken fast food, we welcome Pollo Pepe to bring its bird and step up to the plate. The menu has a bit of an ambitious collection outside of the chicken combinations, hosting pizza and hamburgers in addition to the chicken. Sticking to the restaurant's namesake, however, one can get a delicious, slow-cooked and glazed chicken with some equally delicious sides. To wash down a pollo, Pepe style, opt for a horchata or temperindo drink. It's a wonderful flavor combination that we feel would fill a fast food niche in the USA. Simply put, Juan Maestro specializes in sandwiches made Chilean style. The sandwiches they serve feature piles of shredded meat, avocado, homemade mayonnaise, yet they also serve empanadas, fries, and ice cream. 
Juan Maestro is the ultimate quick serve sandwich shop for everything you're in the mood for. The traditional Chilean sandwiches use buttered burger buns rather than sliced bread. Additionally, rather than appealing to crowds as a greasy quick bite, Juan Maestro focuses on fresh ingredients and healthier options, like meat that's grilled rather than fried. With dozens of locations around Chile and growing, it's clear that Chileans are favoring the fresh and healthy options as well. This sandwich shop has yet to break into the North America market, but as it continues to grow, it's possible we may begin to see international expansion in the near future. Healthy fast food? It can't come soon enough. At Tipicas Empanadas, you can enjoy your delicious meat-filled pocket to go with a variety of flavor combinations influenced from all over the world. Choose a typical meat for the Colombian version of a corn empanada with spiced beef, potato, and house stew. Branch out for other typical collections, including Hawaiian, cheese, Mexican, ranchera, and Thai. Outside of the traditional corn offerings, Tipicas also does a baked wheat version and arpas. With so many different sauces and even more varieties of empanadas, we believe that this little Colombian establishment has the key to our collective American hearts. Pozole is a traditional soup or stew in Mexico, made from hominy and featuring meats, cabbage, chili, peppers, garlic, avocado, radishes, and limes. At La Casa de Tono Restaurante in Mexico, it's really the star of the show. While more like a 24-hour diner than a traditional fast food establishment, La Casa de Tono is well known for its quick service and busy atmosphere. Rapid fire food is part of the scene as this little restaurant serves up bowl after bowl of pozule and hefty plates of delicious food. They're also known for breakfast foods, inexpensive offerings, and friendly staff. With La Casa de Tono Restaurante being voted as one of the quote, best restaurants in Mexico City by The Independent, we'd love to see a version pop up in the States. Self-described as a pioneer in the commercialization of cheese bread, Casa du Pau de Queijo had us at hello. With success in the 50-year-old company's signature bread, franchises featuring a little grandma as its mascot soon spread across Brazil. In addition to cheesy breads, the bakery restaurant also claims a dessert named the best chocolate cake in the world. Casa do Pau de Queijo is known in Brazil as being the go-to quick service place for breakfast and coffee. Also serving paninis, sandwiches, savory stuffed puffs, and pastries, you might even consider Casa do Pau de Queijo to be Brazil's version of a Starbucks. It's somewhere reliable to grab a quick bite and pick me up around the city. Hopefully, sometime in the near future, the United States will find itself enjoying a hot cup of Brazilian coffee with a cheesy puffball in the morning. Frankly, we are so down. If you're looking for something exciting in the Latin American fast food world, head to Dogas in Chile for a hot dog that feels like it's action packed. The hot dog toppings get kind of radical at Dogas. We're meaning it's way beyond little wavy lines of mustard and ketchup. Try mayonnaise, salsa, ranch, guacamole, or queso, or everything at once for those reckless customers that know no fear. These big dogs are known as completes at Dogas, with a large version going as long as 8.5 inches. Yes, that's a whole lot of dog. If that seems a bit intimidating to you, no worries. Dogas also features delectable sides. Order empanadas, fries, a chicken sandwich, or ice cream with candy toppings. This fun Chilean restaurant is more than just a hot dog stand. For avant-garde hot dogs, we'd love to welcome Dogas to the North American landscape of fast food. It's entirely possible that you think that a sandwich is just a sandwich. Sure, there's some pretty delicious ones out there, but if you don't get excited over the prospect of grabbing one for lunch, that's because you don't live in Peru. Peru really does a sandwich right, and for too long, the United States has been missing out. At Pasquale Sanguicheria, one can get all the exotic flavors of this beautiful Latin American country nestled right between two buttered buns. The restaurant also features a variety of classic and international dishes. Local favorites to try include the chicharron sandwich, which is made with pork and potato, and the classic stir-fry. Pasquale is also famous for its sauces, which include ricotto and juanqueina. Slathered on crusty bread and with warm turkey breast, grilled chicken, or pork and plantains, these sandwiches are packed with flavor and come with infinite ways to mix it up. While an American sandwich can be boring at times, Sanguacheria brings the power of Peru to the plate. If you ever find yourself in Lima, be sure to grab a bite from your local Pasquale to get a taste of what the United States is missing out on. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about the international delights you're missing out on are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.